Now, starting tomorrow, I'm going to be chairing the meeting of the donors, you know, to drive forward towards a 16th replenishment for the International Development Association for funding for the next three years for most of our countries. And what we saw here was first, you know, African ministers coming forward to testify that they've been able to get good results out of money uh, that was uh, channeled to them through IDA in the past and to urge the donor countries not to uh, uh, draw back in terms of their commitment to the 16th replenishment. So there's a very, been a very good message on that, a very good atmosphere. And the third thing is, that, and, this, and supporting that, we've seen you know, a very strong statement from Bob Zelik, the World Bank president, from myself, from the uh, vice president of the Africa region, obviously, all of us, have been trying to emphasize the importance of IDA. But more importantly, some of the donor countries also spoke up. So we are hoping that with all this, we'll be able to have uh, a strong replenishment. But we are not out of the woods. So it's important for African countries to make the case. The reason I say yes, we've had strong voices, but we're not out of the woods, is because many developed countries are experiencing very serious fiscal a stress themselves. And therefore, they will need all the encouragement to know that this money will be well used, uh, you know, in order for them to be able to come forward to that. On our side, in this fiscal year, um, you know, we fiscal year 2010, we're expecting to have, uh, sorry, last fiscal year, 2010, now I'm tired. <laughs> and we did, <laughs> you know, uh, about 7.2 billion of IDA resources to the continent, of which 1.5 billion was in grants. So that's a huge um, support, and it's 50% of the total IDA lending for the year that goes to Africa. So we need Africa to speak out. We need Africa to use the resources well and produce results. All the results you've seen, you know, from all those circles um, are things that IDA produced in the last decade all over the world. And we need, uh, we need you to speak out, to, to say that this thing, resources will, should be seen as an investment and they'll be properly used. So let me stop there. Um, let me also say something. The last point I want to make is that we need to mobilize our own domestic resources. Okay. So when we use this funding, we at the World Bank have been working with countries to strengthen their financial management system, strengthen their domestic resource mobilization, strengthen their tax systems, because we need to continuously, uh, you know, increase our own internally generated resources, because we don't, we're not going to be on this aid forever. At some point, we need to finance more and more, and different countries are at different stages. Some have only marginal, like Nigeria, you know, donor resources are not that important in the financing, all the way to some other countries where it's 40% of their budget. Uh, but we need to make every single African country, including Nigeria, needs to make more effort on taxes. Okay? Kenya is doing 22% of GDP tax revenues. That is a very good effort. You know, all countries need to strive. And in the developed countries, they're up to 30-something 30, 30 percent, 32-33%. And some of our countries at 9% or so. We need to up it if we are to support and sustain our own development. Okay. All right, That's so it. ask questions, but just, just a reminder of your name and your organization.